I want to concentrate our attention on it because I do believe that generative AI is a very, very powerful tool when we're talking about creativity and the future of creative work. Generative AI can do astonishing, beautiful things that sometimes you look at them and question, like, are those real? Like, what's going on? So yeah, I would like to concentrate on generative AI from now on. And let's imagine generative AI is like a painter who paints with a technology and create images and other media. We all know ChatGPT. Uh, it uses text prompt and provides a text output. That is called unimodal AI. Actually, in order to prompt correctly, you have to have these things in your prompt. You have to have context to give uh, chat an idea of what's going on, the task, instruction, and then clarification. So you see how in this example, it is actually structured that way. I'm going to just read it for a second. After you actually receive the answer from ChatGPT, you can always go back and refine and be like, yeah, let's use maybe another tone of voice. And that's interesting. However, when we talk about mid-journey and Dali, it's a completely different story. Uh, you put in the text prompt, but you get different media results. That's called uh, multimodal AI. So when you put different prompts like Describe this picture, imagine a picture of a cat, or even you know, write a song about a cat. All these instructions go in into the generative AI models with pre-trained data in order to finally give us our results. And results could be very different starting from an image, text, song, and even a video. But my most important question here was, what is going on between the, the, when we put the prompt in and the result? What's actually happening in this, I would so-called black box? What's going on inside? Let's have a sneak peek. So it can actually go in two ways here. The first is generative Adverse, adversal networks or GAMs. And the second one is transforming models. The first one, GNS, consists of two neural networks, the generator and the discriminator. So to make it simple for you, let's imagine them as two characters. The first one, generator, creates a fake data from random noise, which then is turned into an image. Whereas discriminator, another model, is trying to distinguish whether this image fake or real. So the underlying idea of GAM models is that generator and discriminator are usually fighting against each other, trying to become better at what they do. Moving to 